Hello YouTube Society Wardens here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Amnesia A Machine for Picks. So we are continuing downwards, I guess. Oh no. Okay. Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm going to rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? Who's that? Oh well. I guess we continue. Uh, I don't like this. Am I going the right way? Not sure. I told you he'd come. Yeah, awesome. Ooh. Interesting. Oh. Okay. And can move that one. There we go. Ah. Oh, that was quite easy. And then we'll turn this one off again. No? Okay. Ah, we'll turn this one off. There we go. Easy peasy. Now what? Hmm. Nothing there. And nothing. How about in here? Nope. Not anything. The collar, the neck, the noose. From the window he could see almost to the docks where they were still pulling hair out of the gratings. Gratings. God knows what it's about, says the paper boy. The talk is of murder. Oh, that sounds nasty. Hello? I have such visions to share with me. If my jaw be unshackled and you harvest the crust from my eyes, they can be clean and distant, but my thoughts and words can unfoul be. Okay. That was kind of strange. But then, what if they could stand up upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now, no. No, they will not. But they will happily accept fealty uh, to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. In this I realized, they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, uh, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. Okay. No idea what he was talking about there. Hmm. 
absolutely nothing here. Okay. Well, that was a waste of tough time. How about in here? Anything? That's the same pictures out there somewhere. Kind of strange. Whoa! What the hell? That was kind of weird. <laughs> Another paper. August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly, but perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employ talk it, talked of this. They talked of how, when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels, crisscrossing the capital. What palaces lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. Uh, at the center of the planet, my architect tells me, there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. Well, that's true somewhat true. Not actually a ball, but a giant pool of molten iron. But yeah, pretty close. Hello? Hey, another paper. October 11th, 1899. We, in we integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum. Deri deri derived derivative and feet to subdue the pr product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from holding pens uh, onto the line they are less likely to panic and damage, damage machine components, other products or themselves. This section of the belt is uh, sheath, sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good, maintain good spirits. And we, have and we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find De Debussy particularly eff effective, uh, effective, effective in this regard. Okay. Looks nasty. Or sounds nasty. Warning. Fueling pumps. Volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive. Wear protection. Pfft, I don't need protection. Hey, yeah, piggies. No? Okay. Mm, I don't like this. Way too much blood here. Nope, locked. Hey, piggy! Wee! Wee! And... Piggy! And... Fly! Okay, whatever. Hmm... Nope. Mm, there's a valve down there. Oh! It seems the chemical processor is merely one part of a much la larger complex. I should read those as they, as they pop up. <laughs> much, much larger complex. No easy route for me then. I will follow my fever, the cause of my children, wherever they may lead me as I move further into the stra this strange empire. All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex, yet this facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a f falsification. But I must pu put aside my uh, uh, anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach and continue on my path. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen uh, automobiles demonstrated at Ms. Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simon's works, 
but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum, of that I'm sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. Okay. Truck fueling station. Well, fuel pumps, all well, chemicals. Yeah, that's that's the same as up there. Okay. Guess we'll just move on. More piggies. What the hell are all these pig? What the hell do they do here? Did that one just move by itself? Can I lift it off? No, I can't. A bit funny. Hello? Mm, I don't like this. Close. Small storage. September twenty eighth, eighteen ninety nine. That's earlier than the other, some of the others. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man, as if this is to be des desired. One might almost boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, rooting carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little m missives into the streets. Alleys and gutters running freely with the careless spill of the conjoinings. The air thick with the whimperings of lust. Bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seat over pass passers by. And yet, this is a condition Babbage aspired to. No, this is not the machine we, se we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bigger and forn fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters what they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their accession soon enough. Whatever that means. Well, that's a lot of talking about picks. Well, not that strange since the game is called something with picks. Okay, that was quite, kind of strange. None of these doors work. Nope. Now where do I have to go? Kinda confused. Mm, I should probably close some of these doors. Hmm. Very strange. Sure, if I'm going the right way, I was locked as well, and I can't go back. Okay, this is kind of strange. What does this one say? Distribution clock. There's nothing in here, right? Mm. And I can't use this one. God damn it. Ooh, piano. Nope. There must be something in here, or out here, or down there, or whatever. I'm just kind of confused. Can I come up there, maybe? Hey, across. Must be a church out there somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, the window, of course. 
I'm so stupid. <laughs> I closed it to be safe. And I almost missed it. me of, uh, what's it called, uh, Bruce the Almighty, <laughs> where he like pulls it down, you know. Look how big it is. It's insane. St. Dunstan's Church. This church is connected to the plan plant. How odd. However, it does suggest uh, another route into the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around the fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however, almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this, al this alternative entrance. Hmm. Oh, another paper. Delivery schedule. How in places are we supposed to meet these damned schedules if even the basic, equ basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated dis function? These cursed newfangled trucks will only run on, f on a f run a fraction of this distance. My old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says uh, it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory, uh, the factory walls. But you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and uh, the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turn uh, I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it sod it says I enough for a night and to bed I go. It's not like anyone need access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a jar. Okay, so I guess we'll have to Put on some fuel and move this somehow. But that will be in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Go click like if you enjoyed the video and please subscribe for more. Waltrums is over and out. Bye!